Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with English Sports Center and we're bringing you your weekly fishing report. We're going to start off with uh, rock fishing right now. Rock fishing is pretty great throughout the area, anywhere from south all the way up to the northern part of the Bay Bridge, uh, all the way up to the flats. Uh, pretty much everywhere in between you're going to be able to find fish and be able to catch a few keepers here and there. Uh, there's been a lot of fish hanging out around the Bay Bridge pilings. Of course, you want to check out the tides. Whenever the tides are going in or out, that's whenever you want to be around there. Jigging's been the primary way to, uh, to go there. But remember, that's not the only way to catch them. You can also live line spot or throw some soft crabs and drift throughout the pilings. Now, speaking of that general area, right at Hackett's Point and Predictory Point, those are two great areas to sit around, anchor up, and throw some chunks of bait, either chunking or chumming whatever your choice is, and you're gonna be able to find some fish and some blue cats mixed in. If you're shore fishing, Sandy Point has been good in the afternoon, evening, and mainly at night, with some good fish being caught there, primarily keepers in the evening to nighttime with chunk delwy, soft crabs being the primary baits there. If you're going across Manapeak, the night fishing there has also been awesome. A lot of good sized perch there. Uh, uh, catfish and rockfish mixed in and don't be surprised if you're starting to catch some small spot they're starting to show up in the area here while the guys down south having catching them now for a couple I guess days maybe a week or so maybe even longer depending on how far south you go uh, bloodworms are going to be your best bait if you're trying to get some spot for live lining or even if you want to keep them for you know for yourself other than that we're starting to see some little tiny croakers show up in the southern areas and some speckled trout if you're fishing on the lower eastern shore of the chesapeake bay right now other than that snakehead fishing throughout the area is starting to go into that spawn mode we have been seeing fish pair up since last week uh and then depending on where you are even two weeks ago uh, black water seems to be the place where some of those fish are pairing up and spawning now you will still get some action i will say early mornings and evenings are going to be your best time if you're trying to get a good bite out there same thing for you guys fishing around the area here in the local rivers smaller baits uh, and you might produce a few snake hits with that uh, let's moving on to the north side of things uh, quantumingo dam seen a couple guys catch some big striper side of that pool some big flatheads and some blue cats mixed in there while the perch run is still going on right now for most of you guys catching some of that la last push of that uh white perch spawn up north in the Susquehanna river closer to the flats uh that's been going on for about a week or two now so we're get heading into the tail end of it uh fishing out deep uh and the channel edges there with some uh bottom bait some bottom rigs and some bait in there so make sure you get into some of that now if you guys are going to the ocean for this holiday weekend there's plenty of bluefish going on around the ocean city area whether you're fishing from the inlet the 50 bridge 90 bridge or even a few in the surf there's going to be plenty of those fish uh, a couple of rigs to use if you're surf fishing mullet rigs uh, with frozen finger mullet any kind of chunk bait that will hit and they're bluefish believe me they'll hit about just anything so if you're fishing at night uh, there's been some catch some some fish up to the uh, 45 inch mark off the 50 bridge in ocean city so plenty of fishing going on around the area just in time for the holiday and we've even seen some uh, small sharks show up on the surf uh, crabbing wise uh, starting to show up a little more in this general area in the Annapolis area still a little bit deeper but you're going to find some in shallow now so whether it's you know chicken necks or clams that's going to be your best bet for you know crabbing at this point right now and it's only going to continue to get better so that's it for your fishing report guys and you guys have a good one